Hello YouTube, this is Jessie from Clay Along Creations and I have not posted in a little while and I'm really really sorry about that. Um, I'm trying to get back on it. I have a ton of really amazing um, videos, tutorials, um, all kinds of little tips and tricks that I want to share with everybody. Some some processes some things that I have been really really working hard on in the last little while and I haven't been able to post because I have been working on this new studio I have a whole new studio so I should be able to post a whole lot more a whole lot easier it'll be a whole lot more accessible to me to be able to make videos um, where I'm not cramped in my little teeny tiny corner working space so I am super excited I mean through the roof over the moon excited about this so with that being said today's project is just a little something just to jump back in quick and easy um i made this little guy or girl isn't she adorable worked a little bit with resin but the reason that she came about is for two reasons number one i'm fixing to implement a new um series i guess you would say on this channel but we'll talk more about that in um a future post for now um the reason that i am doing this video is because i use this piece to do a little experiment and um, i'll talk more about that during the tutorial and the process so with that let's jump right on in Okay, I'm feeling sick. Don't do that again. Don't do that again. But we'll get into that in the story. It, story? We'll get into that in the video, in the tutorial, in the thing that I'm doing here on YouTube. The process, the, the word that I'm looking for, which is not in my head. Anyway, check my notes. So I don't forget nothing. You know, I'm getting old. I'm getting old here. Not used to sitting down. This is nice. Real nice. So today's project is made because I wanted to try a little something. I wanted to take my Super Sculpey clay, which is super durable. It's a professional clay. It's very smooth. It's very blendable. I really love working with it and I wanted to mix it with some colored clay. Now I like to use Sculpey Primo when I have colored clay. So I mixed a little bit of, well, more of the Super Sculpey with a little bit of the Primo clay to make the brown color to make this teddy bear today. And I just wanted to see how that would work out. Like I just wanted to know if it would make the colored clay a more durable, easier to work with clay. Um, so here it is. So I mixed it up and this is what it looks like mixed together. Now this is what I do with my projects. I go ahead and I separate them into separate balls for every piece that I need. You know, I have a little bit of extra just in case I forget something, but I have the body, the arms, the legs, the, the head, the pieces for the head, the ears, the whole nine yards. And then I take it and I put it together. It just really makes the work go quicker. It makes you think about the construction of it. It helps you to realize proportions. And this way, when you do it ahead of time like that, you really can get the job done in a fast and easier manner. It helps you to really break it down and think about what all you need and how to proportion things better. So I'm just adding the legs on here um, and then I'll show you how I add on the arm. It's really super simple. These are just very basic, simple shapes, nothing more than a, an elongated teardrop. Kind of press one end on the table, kind of just wiggle out a hand, wiggle out a foot, nothing extra in this project. I really just want to make a very simple teddy bear easy teddy bear something that anybody can do this is very very beginner friendly um, project so i've already baked um, the clay that i have inside the cup and i painted it some brown so that it would help with making that resin look like real coffee 
And um, what I didn't show here is that I did add a little bit of bakeable medium to uh, the teddy bear's paws and its bottom to be able to hold on to that cup a little bit better when I bake it. Now I am working on the head. Now make sure that you kind of um, hollow out a hole for the head to go onto the body. I also added a small um, wooden dowel from the body so that the head can attach better to the body. Well, it's time to work on the face. I always love making the face because that's where the personality comes in. And with all of my little critters, I always give them this cute little pouty look to them. And all I do is put these little teardrops over top of their eyes to give them like, kind of like they have big pouty eyelids. So um, that's what I'm doing here. And you just blend it in and the thing about it is, is you have to take your time and you have to really look at every angle and make sure that you are blending every single seam in because if you miss a spot, it will show and it'll show a lot more after it's baked. So you have to be real careful to make sure that you blend everything in as well as possible and keep everything even and turn it around upside down, sideways, all kinds of different ways to make sure that you see all angles and that it's staying even and that everything is getting blended well. So getting back to why I made this in the first place. Blending the Super Sculpey and the Primo Colored Clay, um, it did have its pros and its cons. So, um, to start with with the cons, um, it did not blend quite as smoothly as just Super Sculpey does. Um, there is a little bit more, you have to put a little bit more time and effort into blending and really getting the seams blended in. Um, it feels just a little bit like it has a catch to it or something. I don't know how to explain that, but it just doesn't feel like it blends quite as smoothly. But you can make it work. It's just a little bit of extra um, effort to it. But then the positive part to it is that it takes that whole step of having to paint this base layer on your clay. Um, you can definitely add some highlights, some blush, you know, paint the nose, paint extra details, um, do anything you need to do to add extra details, but you don't have to paint the entire thing. You don't have to do that base layer coat. So that is a huge plus. Um, as far as durability, um, it definitely does feel a little bit more, um, like it's easier to break than the Super Sculpey. I definitely would not do small pieces. Um, I did a teddy bear because um, on purpose because it does not have anything like uh, fingers or little small things that'll just break off. Now, since I was using the colored clay, I went ahead and made the details out of colored clay instead of painting them on just to make life easier just to kind of go along with it because this whole piece is made like that so it's a pretty firm piece it's a piece that's not going to really break or anything because it's attached to something so i'm not too bad worried about it but i definitely think that without the colored clay it would be a little bit more durable it'd be more sturdy for sure so um, that's what I've learned from doing this. I will definitely do it again, but it won't be on every piece. Uh, there will be some sculptures that I absolutely will not mix the clay into because they will be standalone or have details to them that I know won't hold up well. So that's what I've learned from this. Now this piece was a pretty easy piece to do. It's very, very beginner friendly, like I've already said, and it was quick. It did not take me much time at all to do this piece. This piece here is 
definitely one that I would um, make again uh, for craft shows, for selling um, at events and stuff because you can make it so quickly. I mean, I probably have maybe an hour in the whole piece. Um, it took more time definitely for the resin to dry and for it to bake than it did to put it together that is for sure now of course resin takes 24 hours to dry but I'm just saying I probably it probably spent more time in the oven than it did being made so um, <clears throat> it's a very very good piece to make for quick and easy sale and, and it's cute and I think it's a very sellable piece so that in itself is a big plus now with this resin, I did make it really dark. I did decide to make just like a black cup of coffee. I was trying to come up with something and I was like, you know what, just make a cup of coffee. So I let the resin harden and here she is. And I think she's absolutely adorable. I think it was a fun experiment and I'll definitely be using this trick in other projects in the future. I'm tired. I could use some coffee. Just kidding. But isn't she adorable? This was a really fun piece to make. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you'll give it a try and maybe come play along with me next time. And in the meantime, another really easy, fun project to do is this one right here on the screen. Um, it's my little dragon. Go check out this video because it's a very, very beginner friendly step by step video. So, Go give it a try and maybe next time I hope you'll come play along.